Okay, so I've decided to make the answer key a video uh, to explain how I got each of these answers. Luckily I did because I actually found an, an error in my answer key. I know you're surprised by that. So uh, I'm going to start out first off. We're going to be looking for two sides. We're going to be looking for uh, SW, so that's uh, this one right along here, okay, SW. I'm going to be looking for NP, that's this one along here. Now, I'm going to give them different names. I just think it's easier to keep track of. So we're going to see, we're going to call this one X. Whoops. Hang on here. Switch pens. We're going to call this one X and this one Y. So that means down here NP is going to become X and SW is going to become uh, Y. Okay. Now, we had talked about in the last video the static pair, the pair that's always the same that relates to each other. So on here, you'll notice the 20 and the 15 are in the same position. I'm going to call that my static pair. That means that the 20 and the 15 are the two that you can equate to each other, 20 and 15. And notice here, I'm going from big triangle to smaller triangle, big triangle to smaller. That means when you fill out the bottom, you have to do the same thing, big triangle to small triangle. Same order. You can't go, you can't go uh, big, small, sm big, small. So you have to do big, small, big, small. So if the 20 is like the 15, uh, I know that this NP, that X, is like the 24 over here. So I can say X is like the 24. Then I'm going to solve that. Before we do that, though, I want to go on to the other one, and we'll set it up, too. So we know over here that, again, the 20 is like the 15. So I'm going to actually start out writing that down. The 20 is like the 15. Then we also know that the 36 is like the Y. Again, notice, big, small, big, small. So the 36 is like the Y. That's how you set these up. And we'll do, I'll do the, work the rest of these for you today to make sure you've got it. So now, solution is, that's the easy part, right? The cross products. 20 times 24 uh, is 480. X times 15 is... 15x, that should become second nature by now. Divide off that 15. Again, you're welcome to use a calculator on this. Uh, x is indeed 32. So like I had down here. The other one, I'm going to move this uh, up here a little bit. There we go. Uh, the other one, um, so where we got, we already filled it out. So again, just as a reminder, uh, we said the 20 is like the 15, so the 20 is like the 15, and the 36 is like the y. Big, small, big, small. So cross product fun here. 36 times 15 is 540. 20 times y is 20y. Divide off that 20. And y is 27. Okay, that's uh, the first one. So 1 and 2. This is going to be worth 6 points altogether, by the way. Uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You made some errors. Let's go back and fix those before you bother with today's homework. Just like on the last set, I'm going to go ahead and mark these so I know which sides I'm solving for. We're going to call this one X, this one Y. That means down here that my DK is X and my RV is Y. Now again, we're looking for that static pair, the pair that matches up that I can use for no matter what when I'm solving. So here it's the 75 and the 60. So you start out, the 75 is like the 60. Now we're going to solve for the X one. We know that the X is like the 44. Again, X is like the 44. And again, I don't big, small, whatever you want to call it. We go from left to right. So left to right, right, and left to right. So uh, the solution here, 75 times 44 uh, is going to give us 3300 0, 0 equals 60X. Divide off that 60. Oops, there's a 6, I promise. X is 55. Now let's set up the other one. So again, we know the 75 is like the 60. 75 is like the 60. And the 105 is like the Y. 105 is like the Y. Cross product fun, 105 times 60 is 6300 equals 75 y. Divide off that 75 and y is 84. Okay, one more set. Okay, so just like the last two here, uh, again we're going to go left to right. My static pair, the pair that I can use to solve anything, 104 and 48. So we start out, 
the 104 is like the 48. Oh, I forgot I'm going to mark these with X's and Y's too, just to make my life easier. Uh, we'll say NA is X, right? And we'll say that GS is Y. There we go. Okay, so um, we know that the 104 is like the 48, and the X is like the 18. X is like the 18. Cross product front, 104 times 18 uh, is 1872. Oops, 7 there equals. 48x, divide off that 48, and x is 39. And the other one, again, we know the 104 is like the 48. 104 is like the 48. And the 91 is like the y. 91 is like the y. And the order does matter here, folks. It really does. So 91 times 48 is 4, 3, 6, 8, and then 104 times y is 104y. Divide off that 104, and y is 42. There you go. That was today's homework. You'll have some more examples to work uh, in class kick, and again, I'm going to want to see your work there, so take your time.